Hello, hello everyone. Okay, so this week is gonna look a little bit different. Brandon is currently out of town visiting family and he has left me the van and the dogs. So we have a lot of chores to get done. Things that usually kind of Brandon takes over, which isn't a big deal. We're gonna do it together. So um, let's get started. First things first, um, my goal is to get some energy out for the dogs, and then we're gonna get to chores. All right, are y'all sock, sock, then shoe, shoe people, or are you sock, shoe, sock, shoe? If you know what I'm talking about. They both freaking, they both hate running. So this isn't lasting long. They're both very annoyed with me because he's not having a good time. Just a little bit of a fail. I went running with the two dogs who hate running. So that's okay though. They got some energy out. Um, I'll be able to let them run around later today. I just have to do some chores and then take Zig to the vet and then we'll be good to go. just got back from the vet and um, this elevation makes me out of breath. <laughs> all good news, they kind of just like went over everything. They did a full exam of him, going over all of his lumps, bumps, all the things. Everything looks great. His blood work came back pretty much normal um, for the most part. Everything's um, kind of elevated for Ziggy due to having um, cancer or uh, leukemia and then going through chemo. So yeah, everything's looking really good and I'm very excited about it. It did cost me a normal leg. A lot more than I expected, um, but it's worth it because we're getting Ziggy taken care of. We're gonna camp together. They have an RV. We have a van, obviously. But um, that great man right there, Spencer, is going to go check out the spot to see if it's even open. Which is luck. It really is like winning the lottery. It really is. I don't know what's happening, but I feel like the past year, like campsites have just been like so full or like have been taken over by people. So they're gonna go check it out and then let us know and then we're gonna drive up and go camping. But I have to go get water first, so that's the plan. He offered to go pick up Brandon from the airport so then I wouldn't have to drive all the way back to Denver, which is a breeze, so. Do you wanna use this? Hopefully that'll, that'll help.
Who's hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Okay, good. Good job, everybody. I wasn't able to get water, obviously, besides the jugs. Um, and I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening cleaning the van before Brandon gets here. There's just stuff just like, I feel like crammed everywhere that we never found a place for. So I'm gonna clean out the garage a little bit, clean out the front. Yeah, that's pretty much it. They're tied up because I wanna clean. I wanna clean, but I don't feel like babysitting. So that's why these two are tied up at least. Kissy will stick around, so. Big med times. Open wide. Wow. <laughs> Good job. Hmm. Swallow. So we were just informed that there is a mountain lion out here that has been killing dogs. So there was one last year, um, but a gentleman ended up killing it because it was attacking his dog. But there's another one. And supposedly he's been killing like one dog a week. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. Make sure we are on our toes. Is that the right thing to say? And now I'm really freaked out because like nobody messes, messes with my dogs. So it was actually kind of crazy because as soon as we pulled up to camp, there was a guy in a Jeep who zoomed past us like chaotically. At first I was like, okay, nothing much of it. He's just out here to have fun. Kind of inappropriate, but whatever, have fun. Then he sped past again, even more chaotically, kicking up dust, like sliding everywhere. And I'm just glad he didn't hit our vehicles. And then we had a guy walk up, ask us if we've seen a white Jeep zooming through here. And we we're like, actually, yes. And he was like, you didn't so happen to get the license plate number, did you? And we are like, no, but we both have outside cameras on our rigs. So we got all the SD cards out, um, went through all the footage. We found video footage of the Jeep, but unfortunately the picture is just too... Get out of here, Skeeter. The picture is just too blurry. Hopefully they catch a guy. I don't know, part of me thinks he was intoxicated. There could also be something else wrong. The guy was very worried that he was injured because when he turned out of here, he hit the guy's mailbox and got caught up on one of the boulders that are around his mailbox. He's worried that he's really injured because that that kind of thing is like hard, like where he was lodged was really hard to get out of. Hopefully they catch the guy. Hopefully they get him, get him some help if need be. But it's just been chaos. <laughs> chaos at camp. All right, so closing up a little bit. I'm going to get cozy, make some dinner, and then I need to let the dogs out before it gets too dark because of the mountain lion. Got to freak. <laughs> Holy macaroni! About to cook, so I gotta turn on this bad boy. Our fan is broken currently. Or, it doesn't really work with the remote. That's what you gotta do.
Brandon's gonna be here in about an hour, I would guess. Um, but I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed. But I'll see you guys in the morning. Fifteen minutes. We actually have two meetings this morning, so um, I'm gonna make some matcha, um, let the dogs eat, and then get Brandon up. Hopefully, it was an early morning for him. He got in at like 1 a.m., but yeah. So we gotta get going. We have a lot of work to do today, and I feel so bad. I wish we could both rest. I wish he could rest from travel, but that's just not happening. <laughs> not this week, at least. So. So I'm about to make some breakfast and then we are going to head out and go find some water. Fingers crossed that we actually find some. Um, unfortunately, the next town over that has water is like 40 minutes away. So we're gonna be trucking pretty far. So I'm gonna make breakfast right now. I don't really know what I feel like making slash like, I'm just feeling really like tired and blah this morning. So we're just gonna go through the fridge and see if we can find something quick, I guess. I don't have any yogurt. Usually I do like a oatmeal yogurt kind of bowl in the morning when I'm not like don't really feel like making anything, but that's not really an option this morning. So we shall see. We were so excited to find a water spigot to fill up at. As soon as we parked, Brandon went in to make sure it was okay if we used their spigot to fill our van. While he was asking, I went ahead and prepped for the water fill. We keep our hose and filter in the garage of our van. It makes for super easy access and we can check the water level of the tank. As much as we love having access to this water and the ability to fill our tank anywhere, it does kind of sketch us out sometimes. That's why we make sure to have a drinking water safe hose as well as a really good quality water filter. This video is sponsored by Kori. We use a Kori RV water filter, not only because this filter can enhance the purity of water, but it also filters out many impurities and leaves no bad taste or smell. This Kori water filter has international NSI and BPA free certifications, which means it can remove chlorine, odor, color, VOC, THM, and more. Another thing that's important to us is making sure that it doesn't block the water flow and slow it down. This water filter is large and does not affect the water supply at all. It's also very easy to install and is even compatible with RV models. We really don't want to mess around when it comes to our drinking water, especially when it comes to us and the pups. We want what's best and what's healthiest, so that is why we go with the Curry RV water filter. Check out the link in our caption to get your own Curry RV water filter. Heading back to camp. Um, unfortunately, I wish I could say we're going back to relax, but we still have a lot of work to catch up on now that Brandon's back. Welcome home. <laughs> Thanks. We're backing up because there's a freaking moose. There he is. Keep backing. When? Look at him.
we just made it to camp. It's actually one of our favorite spots. Um, we love it here. So we're gonna enjoy it, let the dogs run around, and we'll be back in a little bit. It's been a day. I'm glad you're home. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> I miss you so much. I did. I did enjoy my time. I'm a very um, independent girl, so I do really well alone. Like I don't mind it, is what I'm saying. But I definitely yeah. missed you. It's not the same. I miss you too. Camp wasn't the same, yeah. especially camping by myself. It was like after the end of the day. It's like I have the dogs, but I was like, man, I really wanted someone to share this sunset with. But right. I'm just glad you made it. Glad to be home. Well, I think it's time for bed. Let's go. Good night, y'all. Good night.